ये प्री प्लान मर्डर है विद्या जी इट्स ए मर्डर यहाँ के लोग जंगल पर डिपेंड करते हैं जंगल भी उन पर डिपेंड करता है सर वी शुड नॉट लूज दिस बैलेंस बिल्कुल वैसी की वैसी हो कॉलेज जैसी बिल्कुल नहीं हो हेलो 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 वेलकम बैक टू क्वीन इज डेड एंड वी गॉट ध्रुव अगेन विद अस अगेन आई सेट अगेन टू मेनी टाइम्स बट टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेटेस्ट एमेजोन प्राइम रिलीज शेरनी स्टारिंग विद्या बालन सो या ओके ध्रुव व्हाट आर योर इनिशियल थॉट्स अबाउट द फिल्म डिंट लाइक इट वेरी मच एक्चुअली आई थिंक इट्स वन ऑफ दोस फिल्म्स दैट हैज लाइक अ वेरी बिग स्कोप व्हिच इज वेरी एडमिरेबल बट लाइक it uh, its execution doesn't match the scope <coughs> i think or whatever it's going for it's trying to do mm-hmm. a lot of things mm-hmm. um capturing a gazillion things that that are whatever wrong with the society etc but i think it does so at the expense of character and drama which uh, which i know uh, mm-hmm. i'm in the min- minority in thinking that so i'd i'd love to know what you think <laughs> so yeah i think i liked it but there are like a lot of factors that come into play as well um with me for like that's my perception towards it so okay so i watched i took a break in the middle like fairly long break before i got on to watching the whole film like i watched like the first 35 40 minutes and then i took a break because of something that i wanted to do okay that is something that i also not not like with the ott space that you have this power of you know pausing and doing something else and you it can be bad it can be good for this i think it turned out to be good because i wasn't too much into the narrative for the first 30 35 right. minutes like um i i didn't sort of uh, get into the whole flow of it nor did i get along with the narrative or the whose characters do you know the what ex- was happening because like how you said no, do you know the exact point you uh-huh. uh, no, no. paused that or like near what moment that happens in the film ha huh, i think uh, I, i think it was it was the first time um the 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 first victim that dies um if i'm yeah, not yeah. wrong and she encounters pk singh um, the hunter um the the second oh, politician no, okay. the, the, the second no no the it, second politician it, okay. yeah and he's like a hey, uh, i won't let you do your work and then she's like okay i understand you and then he's like i i i know you're a woman that is why i respect you and i let you yeah. do your work but you get on to it and okay so that was like some i think if i'm not wrong that was like some 30 35 mm-hmm. minutes um and then i took a break i had to do something else and then when i got back to it i think that's when a lot of things started playing well for me because i think that's when uh, the narrative also steam rolls into the whole into just you know uh, goes into the full full narrative space and uh, okay so the the thing that i really really liked about it was um the docu fiction style it was trying okay. to take and i think that is something that didn't work for you as well which you can which you can talk um like yeah. i mean a minute but i think that is one thing that like works superbly for me um and see i think films like these which are trying to educate you as well and tell a dramatic storyline um have to you know have these kind of fi- like docu documentary kind of moments in it elements mm-hmm. in it to educate you in it because if they do it in a dramatic style it comes off it as you know very in your face so if you do it as a documentary it may sort of be very educative informative infotainment in right. in that sense yeah. so it doesn't come off as pretentious or in your face kind of social issue mm-hmm. you know quote and quote yeah. kind of thing so i think in initi- these are like my initial thoughts so yeah okay continue like what what else would you uh- I mean, talk about what we'll you just stick to like. the docu fiction because I think it kind of falls in between, and it didn't work for me because of that. So I think mm. it's got one lens, which mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. a sort of documentarian lens, and my mind immediately went and said, "Why am I not w- watching like a Werner Herzog version of this?" And the second one, the fiction <laughs> one, is like, "Why am not? W- why am I not watching a Newton version of this?" Which is like a very, I know it's a very sort of close uh, comparison I'm making because of the yeah, director's yeah, yeah. previous film, but like. Uh, it's the sense that i thought that hmm. there was the documentary angle which was i mean a lot of there you get like a gazillion wide shots of a, of like the forest sky expanse and then a lot of it uh, one one particular <laughs> moment sort of references how deforestation has happened in the whole area so it like 
kind of stops in the middle to speak yeah, about yeah, yeah. it which like i really admired the amount of information i was getting which i probably didn't know before the film but uh, but mm-hmm. the characters themselves just got lost in the middle of it like it felt very uh, the fiction felt very stale almost and like ve- very one dimensional in a sense cuz like there's so many montages you get of these people searching for a tiger or tigress uh, that i was mm-hmm. like can we stop for a second and explore a character really well or like not really well also like give give them like two moments or three moments which kind of flesh them out beyond the the bad hunter or like the right, the good right, right. Uh, woman or like the the good village woman which is which is another issue i think we'll get to later because i think uh it's a bit yeah. weird to me no, that I the film it. kind of um <clears throat> does make this uh, or makes this suggestion that the role of the females in this is very limited like they can't do very much right because this is sort of a man's world and in hmm. that way it actually reminds me a lot of sicario which uh, like it's the whole sort of big thesis of that film right because hmm. it's like okay, the emily blunt character enters the narrative and like she is always like reactionary and like tra- uh, trying to make mm. her ends meet but she can't really understand it kind of like that but then that film mm-hmm. kind of focuses entirely on her so like her sort of helplessness etc all comes through right yeah 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 this kind of sidelines the female characters also so not sidelines but like makes the male character share the same amount of space which i found very weird So mm-hmm. I don't know how how to go about it but uh, but yeah on to better th- on to okay. good things I guess first we can discuss the positives. <laughs> uh, yeah. No 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 I I get your I get what you're saying as well. I think with um I think it can exist in a shared universe with Newton as well if it's a possibility you yeah. know or a double bill because you know Amit Masurkar's you know um trademarks are very evident in a lot of places like like that jungle walk and talk scene and all of Definitely. that. Definitely. but newton like how you said was very 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 focused in its narrative you know it was very streamlined in it in a sense and sherney is you know this expanded universe uh, you know you you travel with a lot of other characters although they may not be fleshed out with their problems it just solely focuses on that search yeah and yeah i get what you're saying because that may also lose you may lose fo- focus as a viewer of you know investing your your emotions into uh, vidya balans vidya vincent as well um yeah so so i think there's another thing that i'd like to uh, put forward a comparison not a comparison but an observation like th- that was something that i really liked in um, nomad land mm-hmm. as well um like it had a very docu fiction kind yeah, of yeah. narrative as well uh, not ne- not ne- it, but that was also like ne- uh, like sincerely focused on um francis mcdormand's character as well but um the characters she interacts yeah. with or she's around with are were fairly you know real life personalities yeah. that they actually you know, i think uh, all of them were, were normal the if i'm not wrong except for francis mcdormand and one yeah, yeah 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 so i mean uh, i mean so th- this is sort of an observation that i also had like you know um, the kind of factors that i liked in nomadland was was that factor over anything yeah. else and um, and if you if you if you notice very closely there are like a, a few shots which are which are like very like more or less like exactly similar to uh, Francis McDormand's shots in No Man's Land and uh, okay. Vidya Balan uh, you know that scene where Vidya Balan is standing near that copper mine um and the, that camera is handled uh, and yeah. it's sort of like this wide angle and she's like standing and looking yeah. away and i'm like oh that's exactly the shot Quote. which was there in uh, yeah. No Man's Land so i mean i think that docu fiction parts Uh, part is i think that that sort of becomes very subjective mm. to my choice uh, yeah. more or less um but i also think um when it this sherney was not just focusing on vidya balan's character as a as a lone mm. tiger tigress or but also like there were like women characters all throughout those um yeah. teams you know uh, if there was like this save your save that forest yeah. team or a, or your um or the forest department teams it had women characters yeah. everywhere that village had that women mm-hmm. character so i think uh, the purpose was more or less sort of you know okay there are these women as well you can just have a look yeah. at them okay women are exi- women exist in all of these mm-hmm. places as well so i think sort of that maybe worked yeah. for me Got it. Uh, and maybe didn't work yeah for i you. i guess I, yeah what yeah, else I what think else? it was mo- yeah. more or less to do mm-hmm. with the Go fact ahead. that i was like 
um I, I think it's the problem also with the male characters but i think with the female characters also they i very much i want to repeat this like admire the fact that people are sort of making this whole thing mm. of you know that <clears throat> each character in a film is a, is a living person he's not like just one of those disposable characters mm-hmm. but the problem right, with right, that right. attempt sometimes i think and in this film it definitely felt to me becomes that everyone feels kind of secondary like you don't have that focus then you're just like watching something mm-hmm. from the like it's like watching a film that is consistent consistently playing in like extreme <sighs> wide shot and like you basically don't get a close up onto any of the people which which i mean mm-hmm. i don't think the deliberate effort is that because i think the film later tries to emote or make you emote quite a lot and we will get to those moments because those moments are uh, yeah, very yeah, yeah. clunky i think in the films even in the docu fiction <laughs> narrative if someone buys it i think they are fairly clunky um so yeah i think those hmm. i mean i there are aspects of it i i did like i think like the direction in certain sequences especially during the beginning i was like there's like a very good compositional sense to a lot of the shots so like you'll see vidya balan in the background mm. of like an important conversation between two men or like whenever she's speaking to a lot of men she'll be like in the corner of the conversation or like crowded away like hiding almost in right, plain right, sight right. almost and then the fact that whenever she tries to speak people mm. kind of very casually uh cut her off like all those moments were very good i think vidya balan underplayed really well like she she didn't feel like you know the the sort of she felt she was angry but like the anger felt like it was bubbling underneath rather than like coming across on her face right, so like it was right, very right, under right. under the surface sorry yeah i i quite mm-hmm. like that and mm-hmm. uh, and yeah it was well shot i i i was just thinking again like um like with newton it was very it was a very measured satire and also in its in a sense uh, no i was just uh, i had read a uh, i had read a couple of lines from this guardian review which said like sherney wasn't a very calculative measured um satire which i think newton mm-hmm. was and sherney wasn't because of purely of that you know um newton was you know it had that characters that ideal character fighting that pragmatic yeah. um yeah you know surrounding and yeah. here uh, like vidya balan um contextually has that rage under her, under the surface and she yeah. can't let it out she can't go and just you know have that those moments where she just in her room just shouting or like putting a face yeah. on, on in a pillow and just you know shouting her heart out yeah that doesn't happen here yeah so i think which i like she is fairly yeah. uh, realized in the, in a sense of in in a, in the sense that she also has her ideals but she's understanding the practical situation as well it she's not yeah. like um rajkumar rao's character from newton that she he's like constantly fighting at every second yeah. or with his ideals okay i want to make this place better and he's yeah. just very you know mouthing yeah, what his I, ideals are she is more no, you know understanding yeah, with think, her uh, um with a with the sense part, of objectivity mm. yeah i think part of it is also to do with like the whole gender thing i guess there where like rajkumar rao at least has that and yeah, yeah, yeah. of power in this but like vidya balan probably knows her limits of the right, power so right, like all right. that's quite nice as a compa- in fact as a comparison i think sherney would hmm. work very well uh, uh with newton just because mm-hmm. to see what differences are there in style and like uh, other things i i just think as an individual film it kind of doesn't work for me but yeah no no i get it i get it um also another thing that i also wanted to say was um like that that fiction part like it it becomes more filmy uh, in those parts where you have like all these prominent characters like mm-hmm. vijay raz and um, uh, who plays noorani and vidya balans with devil yep. and other characters neeraj kabi's character yeah. it it is filmy in that sense you know because yeah. those characters have sort of have that trait that brijendra kala has that trait that to make it little more you know yeah um, funny that corrupt bureaucratic <laughs> official you have to have those things yeah so otherwise it doesn't make sense to make a feature film out of it otherwise you could just make a documentary right so i think those parts were also very measured in that sense which is a sort of negative and also works in that narrative so i don't know if it, that's a criticism in any sense yeah but yeah i think that's more or less you wanted to talk about like things um that were also sort of like that emotional impact 
Oh yeah. Uh, that the, didn't work. Actually. Yeah, I mean, to me, so again, I'm coming from someone who, who, for, I think the central core of whatever we've discussed here is that for one of us, the docu fiction works, and for the other person, the docu fiction doesn't work. So I think just going mm-hmm. from that is that uh, that yeah, there's two scene, there's one scene in the end where I was very much cringing because I was like, this is not part of either <laughs> documentary or fiction. This is very like standard thing you'll do when when you <laughs> when you have when you have like a narrative behind it which is completely focused on symbolism and like all hmm. this stuff and there are there is symbolism in the in the in the film i'm sure there is i mean there's the whole cat thing also right uh in her house which is yeah, very yeah, yeah, like yeah. symbolic mm-hmm. of what her she means to her and how she com- comes yeah, to ter- I mean, terms with yeah that's a very deliberate calculated yeah, yeah, thing yeah so that's yeah, very yeah. deliberate Sorry, and then on, then there's the whole uh, cubs of the of the sherni which <laughs> which is one of those moments where i was yeah. like because the ending of the film is meant to be f- i mean we are spoiling it actually here so ending of the film is i mean it's not a spoiler in any sense because okay. It's a journey. Yeah. No, right? no, but the ending of the film is supposed to be pessimistic or cynical in the sense that nothing kind of changes yeah. and like everyone mm-hmm. returns to uh, their own position and Vidya Varan gets transferred out of the place. So it's if you're going for that mm-hmm. ending, right? I think there are better ways of mm-hmm. showing that there is a ray of hope than literally showing that the two cubs have been protected by the village people, by the couple of village people and and vidya balan in that mm-hmm. sense i think the film also very which I, the other thing i actually wanted to ask you because you've said is also it's docu fiction it's not going for satire right because i don't think it is no no Cause, no cuz 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 no, that's no. what i was confused about in a couple of places where sometimes the characters are so broadly sketched right there's the whole brijendra kala character who is very much like a typical uh villain you'll have like in a pan- in yeah. a panchayat type of tv show also right something like that he'll yeah, so yeah, he yeah. he is that character and i was just like if this is going for satire then then maybe i'd i'd be willing to buy the whole cub uh, the cubs are protected by the good people and uh, the other people sort of don't protect them but like this 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 kind of even in that even even in, even in its docu fiction narrative I think it picks its sides very easily like it knows who's good and who's bad. So I guess that's that was the other problem yeah, where yeah, I was yeah. like you know if it's huh. docu fiction then why is it so uncomplicated with its characters? Like why are its characters so clearly good and so clearly bad? Like why are, are they not complicated in that sense? Right, right. So yeah, that was I mean yeah, I I I didn't think it that way, but yeah, like now that you've mentioned obviously uh, it opened like my like i started thinking in that sense yeah th- so as i mentioned before also it's it's not a measured satire in any sense but at least it attempts to have those satirical moments in in a certain totally. sense in in a lot of places but like like that babu hmm. giri in those uh, government offices all of yeah. those exist and you know um so yeah i mean in that sense if you if you if you're talking like that um like a lot of things that are happening it was a little scattered so if it's going to be a, if it's going to be scattered if it's going to be a mess like chaotic in in it's going to be a search about yeah. um this beast so i sort of agree to the fact contextually that it works because it is messy uh, yeah, all those I, government offices I are messy it. yeah that's right, how right. i i was so, trying to so justify maybe, it for myself it, it it's just the fact that i because i uh, didn't have any emotional attachment to any of it all the problems mm-hmm. i have are basically coming because i didn't sort of get into the characters uh, which is which is like a big thing i want yeah, to yeah, yeah. make I mean, clear i'm just not shitting on it because i didn't like because i want to i, I yeah no 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 i i, yeah. I get it uh, i mean that's a very uh, you know constructive criticism yeah. of sorts you know because you have to put out something in in a sense you know to deconstruct the whole um, those characters not working and and it is justified in its own way but i i was sort of like less than invested in those characters but more invested in that journey yeah. um, the the search of, of it, it all like that media circus yeah the search the yeah. circus like how we've seen in people life i think that was very entertaining in in that Got sense it. which in your case yeah. wasn't really but that's also yeah. understandable because it cannot be because i know a couple of people who didn't hmm. like it also but yeah no no i i totally understand your point of view 
So yeah, so what are your concluding thoughts? Would you recommend it? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would recommend it. I think even though I have like many problems with it, I think there's there's things in it to recommend. Just in terms of what the film is going for mm. itself, I think is worth recommending. uh like i it's always mm-hmm. sort of better to whatever shoot for the stars and fail kind of like that and uh i think it 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 is a very ambitious movie in that sense i think and uh, ambitious yeah, yeah right, and, right 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 and yeah for me it doesn't work but i think there's there's enough for people to i think enjoy about it yeah mm-hmm. like also i just want to say another thing that was um, like you said that film picked its sides fairly easily yeah. right those uh, the bureaucratic gov- government officials those politicians they were sort of playing to that pitch of yeah. being uh, you know the the quote unquote villains yeah. or the kind of people i think without uh, that the other thing sort of did, doesn't work i think i'm mm-hmm. not sure i'm just just these thoughts that have come up the other right thing as in the started, as in the vidya valan character though that oh, emotional oh. attachment towards um you know the the yeah, the beast yeah, I mean, the vidya balan's character it doesn't sort of work yeah i mean to be honest the, uh, to be which, honest there like the whole outsider metaphor is also there throughout the film like like the them and us yeah, and yeah, them yeah. and us is there which again like see i mm-hmm. i i can understand why it's hard to make films like this because there's so much of issues being covered in this like there's deforestation religion whatever like the gender yeah, too everything many things. so like too many things uh, politics like there's so much so much and i see ev- anyone who's going to attempt to target that is mm-hmm. i think important but but again it's the whole thing right you know uh, whatever mm-hmm. there's a common catch phrase but like I, good I intentions think... don't translate to good films or something <laughs> like that, which which i think i i would file it under yeah. that but but really a lot of people are admiring it yeah 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 no i i yeah. understand i understand no another thing that i just remembered was um, i was watching this divakar banerji interview um so there uh, these are not exactly the words that he said but you know um justice is always fantasy and power is always reality yeah. right so i i like i want i just keep this line always yeah. in my rule book or like for, like you know this film constitution that i'd yeah. like to keep um so obviously all of these the the government officials all of yeah. these higher of post officials the um, the politicians having um the upper hand over uh, the people who are trying to do yeah. right it just makes sense in in oh, yeah, reality definitely. right yeah. and if vidya balan's character sort of has that redeeming thing at the end that is what makes it a film yeah, i mean I though, to be honest To Otherwise, honest, they don't even end on the redeeming thing, which I think undercuts that re- redeeming thing in any case. Like they end with with the other official replacing him yeah, and then yeah, her being in a museum. Of. So like, I don't think museum, it's a happy yeah, ending in any sense. Else. So mm. uh, uh, yeah. anyway, so yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it, for sure. so I, I'll give it credit for that. That I like many more social message movies more. So can Anu Anubhav Sinha next time please borrow <laughs> a cynical ending and just plaster it onto <laughs> his movies. because uh, all his movies end happily <laughs> and I don't ever think they should uh but but yeah he wouldn't make i doubt he'd ever make like a cynical ending I mean of, yeah i guess the, the doesn't make sense for the him the idea is to I encourage think. people right like encourage change so i guess you need to have like a po- but none of honestly we'll we'll yeah. talk about this later sometime but like none of his films ever <laughs> ever have a happy happy should ever at least have a happy ending they they all about such like complicated subjects ideally no ideally no yes yeah, yeah i understand yeah. why they they are there yeah. but like yeah ideally no i i really liked it and um uh, of course it it stands as one of the better hindi films released this year which i'm i think there haven't been been a lot this year in comparison to last year you mean ajeeb dastan um, so yeah i'd recommend it one <laughs> one film in that i mean a lot of I mean, yeah. yeah one yeah. film work that yeah. keeli puchi but credit to that but the most of the films that have released this year haven't really worked right barring like a few three I mean, or four sandeep or pinky farar which no one saw so, so, yeah. pinky farar yeah yeah <laughs> so i have not seen paglet oh, and um, uh, paglet didn't Chandler. work we can do another yeah, episode yeah. on the yeah the what what has been left over uh, we can do another episode yeah. on that so yeah so more or less uh, this worked for me and i'd really recommend it uh, i'd really recommend you to watch it 
बट या आई थिंक दिस वॉज अ वेरी शॉर्ट एपिसोड कंसिडरिंग हाउ मच वी टॉक यूली एंड अप टॉकिंग सो क्विक थॉट्स एक्चुअली एंडेड क्विकली फॉर वन एक्सपेक्टेड सो या दिस इज फॉर वन सो दिस इज द एपिसोड थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉलो ऑन स्पॉटिफाई and other um, streaming platforms follow us on instagram dm us your recommendations or something that you'd want us to talk about um we're soon going to be putting out more stuff more episodes very soon uh, we are active for once so yeah i mean listen to them follow share subscribe whatever that you guys do okay thank you khatam sher ki aankhon mein dekhkar main pehchan jata hu ki wo adam khor hai ya nahi तो फिर एक काम करते हैं आ, शेर की कुंडली बनवा लेते हैं कुंडली देख के पता चल जाएगा कि वो कब और कहा मिलेगा एक बार शेर मिल गया तो आप उसकी आंख में आंख डालकर बता दीजिए